Hey everybody, Stephanie Presley here with Epic Cure, and I am about to make sweet garlic chicken. Many times at classes I'm asked, what's your family's favorite meal? And I'm like, for what night of the week? Or sheet pan or steamer or <laughs> grill or stovetop, because we have a lot of favorites. But I think this one is my favorite in terms of flavor and ease, hands down. So I'm going to show you how to make it. Figured I'd make a video of it. Didn't realize I had run out, and so... Um, some more just arrived and I'm very excited. I'm kind of doubling the recipe, but still using one seasoning pack because there's so much flavor packed in here. Um, so it is, if you look at the picture, it's pretty much sweet potatoes and chicken. Um, and I don't have the sweet potatoes. Many of you know I cheat. So rather than doing um, sweet potatoes and cutting them, I use butternut squash. It's a pretty good interchange. And I'm going to put it in the steamer um, because this butternut squash is frozen and we got our meat order last week and as I was cleaning out the freezers in preparation of that I realized I had a whole bunch of partial bags of sweet potatoes which tells you how backed up the freezer was but it also tells you how much butternut squash I have on hand at any given time because we like this so much I also like the African sweet potato stew, so I, a lot of it was for that. Anyway, going to put this in the um, microwave probably for about three minutes um, to get it a little thawed, and at the same time, I'm going to turn the oven on to 450. Is the oven on? Is that okay, that's done. Um, and then... So in a bowl, you add the sweet potatoes, some oil, the chicken, and the seasoning. It calls for chicken thighs. You can do chicken thighs, chicken breasts, you can do tofu, you can do whatever you want. So here's my chicken. I weighed it out. Um, so I should find oil. I need the oil. And do two tablespoons, so half of this quarter cup. And I'm just going to drizzle it on my chicken. Um, so I doubled that. And you can do full thighs or you can do partial. Um, you can cut them. You can cut them into pieces. Often I'll cut them, you know, just into strips, kind of like this. Um, these are the prep pro scissors. Makes it really easy. So I'll just take one chicken thigh and then usually cut it into thirds. That way um, people get smaller pieces and... If some want seconds, they, you know, there's other pieces to go back to, but I just think it simplifies. So there's that. So I have, the recipe calls for a pound of chicken, and I think I have a little over two pounds here. Probably more than that, but it'll be fine. So the sweet garlic chicken, what else can you use it with? Well, you can put it on vegetables. It's really good on roasted vegetables. It's really good on um, sliced cucumbers, just you know, slice some cucumbers and sprinkle it on there. Really good seasoning. Um, I've had it on eggs. I think it's probably um, beyond salt and pepper, one of the most versatile seasonings in our product line. Um, I've grilled with it. It's really good grilled. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else I've used it with. Um, cauliflower. I don't think I've put it on broccoli. Put it on cauliflower. Um... Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Let's see. I think I got all my pieces in here. So, yeah. So I'm going to wash my hands and then get my seasoning ready. keep two scissors in here. I have one for packets and one for food. And I keep them marked. So I'm just going to sprinkle this on there. I think I did about half there. And I'm going to stir this around. It's been kind of a long day. And you know, we have from dinner that we had last night, we have a lot of rice left over. And I got in some spinach, so I'm just going to wash some spinach and serve this whole thing over rice and spinach. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. 
All right, let me put my scale away. <coughs> My sweet potatoes should be pretty thawed now. Should be able to break apart. Yeah, I got a pretty good chunk here that's still not... This was a pretty good ball of them. But they still, you know, they'll bake up just fine. I'm just trying to get them a little smaller before I put them in here. And <coughs> I poured out that seasoning. It went up my nose. So I'm going to stir this around a little more. I'm glad I grabbed this bigger bowl. I was going to do a smaller one. So I'm glad I did the larger. Okay, still some seasoning left. Stir that. This way it gets nice and evenly coated. Um, you can do this right on the pan. If you're just doing the pound, it's really easy to just put it on there and just mix it around right on the sheet pan. Um, but... Sometimes I just do it in the bowl because I feel like I have a little more control over the situation. So there's that. Um, I'm trying to see. From a nutritional perspective, it's uh, organic cane sugar, garlic, onion, sea salt, chives, paprika. Um, only six grams of sugar. But a lot of that is going to be, you know, sweet garlic chicken. So that's what it is. All right, so my oven is nice and hot. So grab whatever little oil is still in there. And here's what I'm gonna do. My sheet pan, my sheet pan liner. And I'm just gonna evenly spread this out. And the cleanup on this pan is ridiculous. It's just so easy, so easy. You put it with some greens, you put it with some rice, and you're done. It's healthy, it's nutritious, it's, um, it's fast, and it's so it's so good, and I swear it's the easiest meal in the world. So, um, okay, I think it's good. So I'm just going to bake. I'm going to put this in. I'll bake it, probably check on it, turn it a little, put some more, you know, turn it and then bake it a little more. So 16 to 18 minutes till cooked. So I'll do 10 minutes. I'll stir it around, and then I'll do it again, uh, another 10 minutes probably, and that's going to be that, and then I'll show you the plate. Cool. Cool. All right. Well, let me put it in the oven. Then I'll say goodbye. Okay. Now you've seen me actually start it in that 10 minutes. So what do I have dirty? Let's talk about that. This. So I have the spoon that I used, this from the steamer, that bowl, which I didn't have to use. I could have done it right on the sheet pan, and the oil, but I could have done that eyeball. That's it. Such easy cleanup. Okay. See you in a minute. Okay, so I pulled it out. Still got some cooking to do. Um, but I like being able to move it around and whatever's not completely cooked. I flip it so it can get more heat and, you know, all of the things that make me feel like I'm actually cooking. Ah, that's funny. Um, oh, it smells so good. And those little chunks that weren't completely thawed, they're taken care of. So... I'm just going to put this in for another 10 minutes. That'll probably be all that it needs. And that'll be that. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Taking out the chicken. Here is the chicken. See how juicy it is? You see the liquid all around there? So I've done about um, two and a half pounds of chicken thighs, and I have this beautiful sweet garlic chicken. So excited. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So wish I could create smell vision for y'all. I can't though, so. If I have to be on one side or the other, I choose this side. Um, um, okay, so I want to show you how it's going to look plated up. Um, I'm using my old puff cups, but they still work. All right, so leafy greens, two cups create one serving. So oh, you guys don't see what I have over here. I washed my spinach while it was in the thing. 
while the chicken was cooking, I washed the spinach and heated my leftover rice. So I'm gonna set this here. And all right, so there's that. Lost my rice. Found my rice. Healthy carb orange. So I'm gonna do one scoop of that, and I'm just gonna sprinkle that right on there. And then, which is why I love the scoops, because you can just serve directly from them. So this is the protein. And if your veggies and proteins are mixed together, you just use this one protein cup. And make sure I get enough sweet potatoes or butternut squash in this one, in this portion. So maybe one more piece of chicken there. Oops, that fell off. Okay, I'm just gonna call that good. All right, see that? I'm gonna put that over there. And there we go. Sweet garlic chicken. All nice and plated up. Cool. Okay, have a good night.